Welcome to TV Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Striking actors and Hollywood studios agree to a deal. Actor strike is over. Going down the road director She Bibb, who paved way for Canada's road movie, dies. Hollywood actor strike is over as union reaches tentative deal with studios. sag after committee approves deal with studios to end historic strike. Striking actors and Hollywood studios agree to a deal. New York Times. The Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, SAG-AFTRA, has reached a tentative deal for a new contract with entertainment companies, ending one of the longest labor crises in Hollywood history. The movie and television industry has been largely at a standstill since May, following strikes by writers and actors over a lack of streaming service pay and fears of the rise of artificial intelligence. The Writers Guild of America ended its 148-day strike last month after reaching a tentative agreement with studios. The SAG-FTRA deal, which includes increased compensation for streaming shows and films, better healthcare funding, and guarantees that studios will not use artificial intelligence to create digital replicas without payment or approval, will now be voted on by SAG-FTRA members. However, the union failed to secure a percentage of streaming service revenue. Actor strike is over. Associated Press. Hollywood's Actors Union, the Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Performers, SAG-AFTRA, has reached a tentative deal with studios to end its strike. The three-year contract agreement must be approved by votes from the union's board and members. The terms of the agreement have not yet been released. The strike, which began on July 14, involved over 60,000 actors and was the longest ever for film and television actors. Going down the road director She Bibb, who paved way for Canada's road movie, dies. The Toronto Star. Canadian filmmaker Donald She Bibb has died at the age of 82. She Bibb was best known for his 1970 drama Going Down the Road, which is considered one of the greatest films in Canadian history. The film tells the story of two young men from Cape Breton who move to Toronto in search of a better life, only to become disillusioned with big city life. Going Down the Road was a critical and commercial success, and earned She Bibb a reputation as one of Canada's most influential filmmakers. She Bibb went on to direct several other films, including Rip Off, 1971, Between Friends, 1973, and The Climb, 1986. He also directed a sequel to Going Down the Road in 2011. She Bibb's final film was Night Talk, 2022, an erotic thriller set in the world of a phone sex app. Shebib's son, Noah Shebib, is a music producer and frequent collaborator with rapper Drake. Hollywood actors' strike is over as union reaches tentative deal with studios. Yahoo! Hollywood's actors' union reached a tentative deal with studios Wednesday to end its strike, bringing a close to months of labor strife that ground the entertainment industry to a historic halt. The three-year contract agreement must be approved by votes from the union's board and its members in the coming days, but the leadership declared that the strike will end at 12.01 a.m. on Thursday. sag after committee approves deal with studios to end historic strike. Yahoo! sag after's negotiating committee has approved a tentative deal with the major studios that would end a nearly four-month-long strike that has sidelined thousands of workers. The proposed contract, which still must be ratified by the union's members, would boost minimum pay for members, increase residual payments for shows streamed online and bolster contributions to the union's health and pension plans. It also establishes new rules for the use of artificial intelligence, a major source of concern for actors. The breakthrough came after a tense week. Studio chiefs on Friday presented what they called their last, best and final offer, which the executives said addressed the Guild's demands. The two sides met Saturday afternoon to go over the proposal and company representatives stressed that they needed movement from sag FTRA to be able to salvage the current television season. From nanny to negotiator, Fran Drescher rallied actors to new labor deal. Yahoo! Fran Drescher, the star of TV show The Nanny, has won widespread praise for her role in fighting for better wages and protections from artificial intelligence technology for Hollywood actors. As president of the 160,000-member sag FTRA union, Drescher led a 118-day strike to win a new deal for actors. Studio executives accused her of prolonging the strike to enjoy her high-profile role. Here's the latest on where Patrick Kane could sign this season, report. Yahoo! Patrick Kane is reportedly close to returning to the ice and has begun speaking directly to teams interested in his services, according to The Athletic's Chris Johnston. Johnston named the New York Rangers, Florida Panthers, Detroit Red Wings, Buffalo Sabres and Toronto Maple Leafs as potential destinations for the star player, who is looking for a team that can contend and sign him on a long-term basis. CMA Awards 2023 
the complete winners list. Yahoo! The 2023 Country Music Association, CMA, awards were held on November 8 in Nashville, Tennessee. The winners included Jenny Fleenor for Musician of the Year and Luke Combs for Single of the Year with his song Fast Car. Lainey Wilson went into the night with the most nominations, but the winners were not yet announced at the time of the article. The awards show will be available to stream on Hulu. Is the Marvels worth seeing this weekend? How reviews are dramatically divided over Marvel's problem-plagued blockbuster. Yahoo! Captain Marvel 2, Brie Larson's sequel is set to hit theaters on Friday, November 11. The film is expected to make between $60 to $65 million domestically and $140 million worldwide. This is significantly lower than the opening weekend numbers for Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, which debuted to $120 million in the US in February, and Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3, which cleared $118 million in May. It's also lower than the opening weekend numbers for the first Captain Marvel film in 2019, which made $153 million domestically. The Marvels is set to premiere on the heels of negative press about the Marvel brand, which has seen its creative and commercial fortunes challenged in recent years. Despite this, the film has been praised for its humor and brevity, with positive reviews highlighting the performances of the cast members. However, some critics have complained about rushed storytelling and a forgettable villain. The Marvel stars Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, alongside Teona Paris and Iman Vellani as Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan, respectively. Disney boss declares new era after job cuts. BBC. Disney CEO Bob Iger has told investors that the company has overcome its major problems and is entering a new era of building. Disney has been dealing with a decline in its traditional television and movie business, as well as losses incurred by its streaming service Disney+. However, losses in the streaming business are narrowing, with the core streaming offering adding nearly 7 million subscribers in the last three months. Disney plans to enhance its online offerings by acquiring the third it does not already own of Hulu and combining Hulu and Disney Plus shows in a trial version. Hello, viewers. It's your favorite observer from the sixth dimension, Dr. Six. I hope you're all ready for some exciting news from the entertainment world. So, let's dive right in. First up, we have some great news for all you movie and TV lovers. The Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, SAG-AFTRA, has reached a tentative deal with Hollywood Studios, ending one of the longest labor crises in Tinseltown's history. The strike, which began in May, brought the industry to a standstill and was caused by disputes over streaming service pay and fears of artificial intelligence taking over. But fear not, dear viewers, as this deal promises increased compensation for streaming shows and films, better healthcare funding, and safeguards against the use of AI without payment or approval. Although the union failed to secure a percentage of streaming service revenue, this is still a victory for the actors. Now, let's hope they can get back to entertaining us soon. In other news, we bid farewell to Canadian filmmaker Donald Shebib, who passed away at the age of 82. Shebib was best known for his 1970 drama Going Down the Road, a film that is considered a gem in Canadian cinema history. This movie tells the story of two young men who move from Cape Breton to Toronto in search of a better life, only to find themselves disillusioned with the big city. Shebib's work was highly influential and earned him a reputation as one of Canada's greatest filmmakers. His legacy will undoubtedly live on, and we can only hope that future Canadian filmmakers will continue to make their mark on the industry. Now, let's move on to Hollywood's latest sensation, Patrick Kane. The star player is reportedly close to returning to the ice and has been in talks with several teams interested in signing him. The New York Rangers, Florida Panthers, Detroit Red Wings, Buffalo Sabres, and Toronto Maple Leafs are all potential destinations for Kane. It seems like he's looking for a team that can contend and sign him on a long-term basis. So, hockey fans, keep an eye out for where Kane will land next. Speaking of awards, the 2023 Country Music Association, CMA, awards were recently held in Nashville, Tennessee. While we don't have the complete winners list just yet, we do know that Jenny Fleenor was awarded Musician of the Year and Luke Combs won Single of the Year with his song Fast Car. Congratulations to all the winners, and country music fans, get ready to stream the awards show on Hulu. And finally, let's talk about the highly anticipated Captain Marvel sequel, The Marvels. The film is set to hit theaters this weekend, and reviews have been dramatically divided. Some praise its humor and brevity, while others complain about rushed storytelling and a forgettable villain. Despite the mixed reception, the performances of Brie Larson, Teona Paris, and Iman Vellani have been applauded. It will be interesting to see how this film performs at the box office, 
considering the recent challenges faced by the Marvel brand. But regardless, I'm sure it will be an entertaining ride for all you Marvel fans out there. And that's a wrap for today's news, folks. Remember, the entertainment world is always full of surprises, and we never know what's in store for us next. So, stay tuned and keep those questions coming. I'm Dr. Six, signing off from the Sixth Dimension. See you next time. What are your thoughts on these news stories? Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief via email.